If your winter is anything like ours in the UK, winter rides mostly consist of rain, mud and freezing temperatures. So one thing that is really important you do, and I do after every ride, is clean your bike. Honest, I do. Granted, it is the last thing you want to do at the end of a cold, wet ride, but avoiding it will increase the wear and tear of your bike and its components. So first things first, I'm gonna go and get out of my wet cycling gear and come straight back out rather than staying in the warmth of my home and clean my bike. Right, that's better. Assuming you normally look after your bike, I'm gonna run through a quick wash and maintenance that should take you around five to 10 minutes with fairly minimal equipment. You're gonna need a bucket of warm soapy water and you can use a specific bike cleaner, some car soap or some washing up liquid as I have. I know, I know, I can hear you tutting already, but it's always worked absolutely fine for me. And I'll be honest, I don't always have the other cleaners in, whereas I always have the washing up liquid on hand. You'll need a sponge, an old rag, a bike degreaser, and then to finish with, just some lube for the chain. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna put it in the biggest ring on the front and the smallest sprocket on the back, and then apply some degreaser to the chain, let it work its magic whilst I clean the rest of the bike. Right, now grab your soapy sponge and start cleaning your bike. And I suggest starting from the top down so you're not undoing any work by grime running down. Okay, and a common area to miss is under the saddle. So make sure you get right in there. And obviously, don't forget to switch the bike around and do the other side. At the moment, I can't really clean between the forks or the rear stay, so I need to drop the wheels out. And then that also allows me to clean the wheels as well. Okay, the wheel's out, so give it a good clean between the forks. And if you do have caliper brakes rather than disc brakes, make sure you give them a good clean because they do get clogged up. Okay, now onto the back wheel. Just undo it and drop it out. And if you have a bike stand, it's pretty handy for now to make sure you don't do any damage to the bike or the components, or just make sure you put it on a soft surface or hang it up. Again, just get in there with a sponge and give it a good clean. Next up, we're gonna do the wheels whilst they're out. Now, the wheels pick up a lot of oil and grime off the road, so it's important they get a really thorough clean. And it's particularly important if you have rim brakes, because you get a lot of grease on the rims, and if you don't clean that off, you could be compromising your braking. So to do so, we're gonna grip a sponge over the tire onto the rim, and we're gonna work our way around. And then onto the spokes, and finally, make sure that you get into the hub as well to make sure that's nice and clean too. And on the back wheel, obviously we have the cassette as well. So make sure you give that a good clean and hopefully the degreaser should have worked its magic by now. And if you need to, just apply some more. Okay, now the wheels are clean. We're almost finished. We're just gonna drop the wheels back into the frame and sort the chain. Okay, now that we've cleaned the bike, we're gonna head back to the chain where the degreaser has been doing its work and we're just gonna use our rag to clean off any grime that the degreaser has worked out. And to make sure that you're ready to go for your next rides and to keep your chain in good working order, we're just gonna re-lube the chain. So there we go, that is our GTN bike clean. And finally, I just need to dry it off and it's ready to go for its next outing. And to see more great videos like this, just click on the globe to subscribe to GTN. And to see our winter training tips video, just click up there. And to see something completely different, our Kenyan hill running video with Heather, just click down here.